is BYU versus Utah. You're watching the cut. Hey. Football fans, we welcome you inside Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake City, Utah, for a first of its kind renewal of an old and recently dormant rivalry. It is BYU and Utah meeting for the first time as Power Conference colleagues. Hey man, game nine, Holy War edition. They've been talking all season. Tonight is that. Uh oh, we're here for the cup, baby. Let's go, boys. It's time, baby. We've been waiting too long. You know what I mean? Hey, rivalry, so what? It's the team who stays right here, just like Coach Era says, right? And it starts with this group right here. We set the tone from the beginning. Tight ends, it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Receivers are going to be one-on-one. -on -one. We know what they think they can do, right? Let's go start it right here with this squad right here. Let's go. This rivalry means so much to the people of Utah, and when you look at it for BYU, they're playing to get to the Big 12 title game, to remain undefeated, a chance at the playoff, and for Utah, a season gone awry at 4-4, four and four, you can completely resurrect your season with a win tonight. Do not let these guys stop us from accomplishing what we're trying to accomplish. We show up today, why we are where we are, and they are where they are. We built a firm and awesome foundation. The foundation is you guys, and if you build it, you will not fail. Okay? No failure tonight. Statement number nine is coming up. Repeat after me. They don't know. They don't know. But they about to find out. City. Brandon Rose, third year sophomore, gets his first college start. The handoff to Bernard Middle and driven back. Yard short, needed to get three and got two. Well, this, this is the matchup that I'm really excited to watch. Jake Retzloff versus this elite, vaunted Utah That's defense. Big hole for LJ Martin, who is tough to bring down. He is a tackle breaker. Dancing around in the pocket, and he's going to go down. I don't know that everybody around the country knows what a football place this is and how much pride there is in both these programs. Well, listen, I understand you want to try to get the ball to the perimeter, but you better get some hands on Tyler Batty for BYU because he's one of the best defensive ends in all of America. And now a forwards pass down the sideline into coverage. It's intercepted. Jacob Robinson there to pick it off. Offense back on the field. Had to punt the first time they had it. Retzloff, a little jet sweep. Left 
corner and a nice surge with a lead block Keelan Marion play fake and delivers right to Roberts in traffic makes a tough catch and then spins forward a first down and more inside the 35 game and fake Retzloff underneath to Lassiter makes the catch 15 10 spin to the five Ends with a field goal. The Cougars take a 3 nothing lead. Utah's offense looking for a spark. Maybe the special teams play can give Utah a spark. Seconds of quarter number one. Rose straight up the middle. And there he goes. Brandon Rose into BYU territory. The throw is caught. Touchdown. Just a perfect throw to Keithy. This is the game. BYU and Utah. The rivalry is back, and we got a ball game. Kick return for BYU, and a big one down the sideline. Marion to the Settles in a pocket, guns it, complete! And that's Glover who went nowhere. John Nelson was in the backfield. And I think it's Keithy again in the backfield. Keithy, left side, walks it in, touchdown! Throws low for JoJo, and JoJo makes a sliding, diving catch. That's off, swings it, and the open field tackle! You didn't think this was going to be easy for undefeated BYU, did you? Rose is going to get sacked! But a penalty flag. Glasker was there, and he might have got a piece of the face mask. Throwing on the run, complete 15-yard line to Dorian Singer. He's got his man inside the five to the pylon. Touchdown! Just poor execution in two minutes by the BYU Cougars. Wow. So we come to the end of the first half of this rivalry game, and Utah has a 21-10 lead. That's not our best half. You guys agree, right? Yes, sir. Okay. They're hoping that you guys don't show up. We got 30 minutes. That, that's a bad news when they have 30 minutes left. The good news, I've seen you guys do some miracles in 30 minutes. Our foundation is set. It will not fail. Two more quarters. Give me all you got. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, right, let's go. First on three. One, two, three. Goes back to pass on second down. Just throws that one out into coverage. Knocked away. That's another good play by Mark Collins. Pressure was picked up. Rose throws, and it is juggled and incomplete. But the Cougars' undefeated record is definitely in jeopardy here. It's an interception. First real mistake of this game for the young quarterback. Hey, you can give me one. You don't give me twice. Come on, don't mess with seven. Don't mess with seven. You know that. Off Martin. Nice cut. L.J. Martin out into the open. Inside the 25 will be dragged down. It's a 33-yard field goal and a big one for BYU. They need this. Will Ferrin lines it up. Good snap and hold. And the kick is right down the middle. Throws in the pocket. Throws. And it's caught. In traffic. Right side hand off Bernard. Stacked up again with a nice catch. Play fake. First down. Rose steps away for the pressure and tried to scramble. By Retzloff. Throws middle wide open. Pass caught for a first down and more. All the way out to the 30. Throw and it's caught. A sliding catch. There's Darius Lassiter. What a catch that was. Gave another open receiver. Roberts inside the 15. They started at their own five. They've gone 83 yards in four plays. And just like that, the BYU offense has come to life. Man, do we have a fourth quarter coming up or what in this great rivalry game? We'll hand it to Bernard, and he'll go down. A tackle in the backfield. What pursuit by the linebacker, Jack Kelly. Setting up an extremely critical third down for the Red Cougars. Retzloff picks it up and then loses it. Utah's offense starts close to midfield, leading by two with 8.37 to go. Pressure comes. Rose hit as he throws. It's incomplete. He threw it high and took a hit. 
Hand off for a potty, left side, nice cut. Can BYU have an answer for the pressure? Can they hold up and find a way to get the football down the field? Pressure comes, Retzloff will get sacked again. That time Zamaya Vaughn from his defensive back spot. And a BYU offensive lineman is down on the short right flat. A catch and a stop well short of the first down. And now it comes down to one final play for BYU. They need 10 yards to keep the drive going. Little heartbeat left for BYU. Listen to Rice Eccles. My goodness. It was so loud. I think there was a timeout. We, nobody could hear. Kalani Satake did call a timeout. Retzloff. Retzloff goes down. Reed got to him. There is a flag in the secondary. Throwing deep middle. And he's got Roberts for the catch near midfield. And that one is caught by Lassiter along the sideline. Yeah. Run the ball. There goes Rapati. Upended. As clutch a kick as you'll ever have. I keep doing that. We're going to church tomorrow! Yeah! Hey, good job, baby. Hey, that's how we do it, baby. Thank you, God. Always. What's your next one, baby? All thanks to God, baby. Let's go. Hey, no, no, no! No, 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 no! Crazy game, man. God is good, man. God is good. We're coming to Rice Cycles. We had a lot of people show out, so we had to give them a show. A little too much drama, but we had fun with it, all right? what we do, man. We came over and we took over, man. Hey, hey, we're not Look at your trap. Take we're over your trap, man. Another one. They just can't stop us right now. We got to keep going. Big game, Bill Farron. That's why special teams matters. Go Cougs! Let's go! Go Coos, baby, let's go. Important that we that we love even our opponents. So we've been teaching that to you guys. We laid the foundation. We talked about healing in chapter twelve, verse uh, chapter five, verse twelve. You build the foundation, it will not fail. You guys are the foundation. The people that you represent that are here and that are no longer here. You guys did a great job representing yourself out there. How many guys didn't get a snap tonight? But did you guys do all the workouts? Did you guys go through all the pain? The guys you're playing against. They believe in the same thing too. That's why it's important to respect them and love them. Because Lavelle gave me this feeling when I was a player for him. And everybody saw it was like, oh, why would you why would you do that? It seems kind of soft. It's it's what tough guys do. He taught me that lesson, and then all I did was try to love as many people as I could. And now they're here with me, and I call them my brothers. And so who knows what can happen in the relationships you can have by just being kind and being Christ-like. You guys agree with me? Yes, sir. It's the beauty of the gospel in football. It's nothing like it. And that's what tough guys do. If it weren't for this place, I wouldn't be your coach. Jay Hill wouldn't be here. Sonny Boha wouldn't be here. Justin Enna wouldn't be here. A Rod wouldn't be here. Don't you guys agree that they are ours? They're yeah. our family? Yeah. That's the beauty of, of following Christ and living your life that way, even playing the game of football. One, two, three.